I'm recording this video, right, to show you how to do an editing of uh, a resource that you have copied, right? So a copy of fractions and decimals, we are going to add an input box where a user can key in um, the decimal and then compare it against the system's uh, answers, right? So, right, let's first click on edit activity. Then uh, as our mouse hovers over the window or, or the frame, you can see that there's this uh, pencil icon. Click on it, which it will allow you to edit. Now you're not exactly editing yet. You need to move down to the button, uh, which says edit effort. Then you click on that, right? You will actually uh, open up the frame, right? And uh, with these three bars, click on it. You need to see the algebra view where you can see all the objects inside the graphics window. Right. Um, okay, you see, you can see that the uh, window is basically too small for you to see everything. So let's uh, left mouse click, right? And then uh, pull it apart. Right? Pull the frame as wide as you can. Also as far down as your uh, screen can, can give. Right, so we click on the input bar so that you can uh, input values, right? Yeah. So, yeah. And what we're going to do is this, right? We're going to create a variable. We need to create a variable. Let's call it an input decimal. Right, and we are going to say it's equal to 1.25. Right, and you notice that um, if you move up, the input variable is a number actually. So you can see, right, input decimal, the answer is 1.25. Okay, now we are going to create an input box. Like this input box, I'm going to just place it just below, uh, just above the decimal. Right, we're going to call it a decimal is, right, and we're going to link it to the object which is input decimal. I'm going to click OK. Right, so, um, yeah, so the, the input box is too long, so let's right click, right, mouse click on it. Under settings, let's change the size of the input box. It's under the style. Now the input box length is 20 uh, characters long. Let's reduce it to about uh, six characters and click and press enter. Right, and then close. Right, you can see now the space is, uh, the box is smaller, it's 1.25. Right, so the value uh, we key in just now was 1.25. So right now, okay now, See what happens when you change the number to 1.35, right? And press enter. Go to back to the algebra view. You can see that the input decimal value now is 1.35. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to close, right? We're going to close this and we are going to create uh, a text box, which will give us a feedback, right? To see whether the input decimal is equal to the uh, decimal answer. Now, uh, let's take a look again, right? What's the name of the variable that gives us the output, right? Or the system's uh, uh, value, right? Let's click on this text box. Let's check what's the, what text box number it is. It's actually text box number nine. Let's click on it and uh, see what is the variable, right? Under text, you can see, oh, actually uh, 1.13, right? It's actually the variable called number. Okay, so, let's click OK. Uh, so what we need right now is actually the text box that gives a feedback. So click 
for ABC tax. Can I click it just below here? Right, you can see, right? So we need, um, let's say, answer is, right, on the GeoGebra icon, we should do a text box, empty box there. Now you can see, right, that um, there's an orange box here. Click on the orange box. Now, what we're going to write here, we're going to write the if then else structure. So if, I use a square bracket, if, right, uh, the input decimal, which was the variable we gave just now, right, is equal, right? So equal, we use, a, we are comparing, so we use a double equal, equal to number, right, uh, comma, right, then if, right, this is the if. Okay, comma, and then if the if they are equal, then we say it's correct. Right. Uh, we need a double quote because it's a string, right? So it's a letter. Okay, comma. So that that's if it is correct, then it's, if it is if they, they are equal, then we say the answer is correct. If they uh, if it is not true, then we are going to say the answer is wrong or incorrect. Close to the bracket. So let me click OK. See, the answer is incorrect, right? Okay, now um, let's click on the move tool again. Okay, move the text box over there, right? So the answer is incorrect. Now, what happens when I type in 1.13? The answer is correct. Right, so this is how you can do it, right? So, um, yeah, I'm going to close this and I'm going to just start off with zero. So every time you're going to do it, it's going to be zero. Okay, the answer is incorrect. Now, whatever is like that, right? So, um, we, we don't want to give the feedback unless we click on this to show the system answer, right? So, uh, and then we are going to place the text box next to our, your input, right? Not at the output. So we use this uh, checkbox as a check, not only to show the system answer, but also to give feedback to the user's answer, right? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to turn it off. We're going to check, right? What's this uh, text? Uh, what is this uh, checkbox? Okay, the Boolean value is U, right? So in other words, I'm also going to let the text box uh, disappear just like the, the system's answer, okay? Right, uh, I'm going to click, right click under the settings, under advanced, right? In, in advanced, the condition to show object, right? Uh, just now the variable was called view, right? So I'm going to just press enter, view. Now you see what happens, right? Uh, now the text box disappears because uh, when I click on decimal, right? In other words, this, this, this checkbox is actually the Boolean variable U. When I click on it, you can see over in the algebra box or algebra window, right? When I unclick, you see that U is actually false. When I click on the checkbox called decimal, right? The variable U is true. So in other words, when it is, when U, is true, the text box for the answer, the feedback answer will be shown as well as the text box that shows the system's answer for what is being displayed right? is, is uh, true, right? Then you can see both of them. So when you, right? So the checkbox is used to control the visibility of the feedback as well as the Systems answer. Okay. Now, so we have more or less done this. Okay, so let's move on to um, click done. Right, which means that we are finished, we are done with the editing. Okay. Right now, we, we forgot one thing, right? We forgot to close the algebra window. Let's click on edit and flood again.
Okay, uh, go back to that three bars, change, and remove the algebra view, right? So now we are back, and then you click done. Okay, yes, no more uh, algebra view. Then we click done, save and close. Okay, so now if a student looks at this uh, exercise, right, or if you are showing it in front of the class, you can actually, like, you know, specify right, and ask the student, right, so what fraction is this? And the students will answer, oh, the fraction is actually one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six over 10. So the fraction is one and six over 10. Yes. So what is the decimal, right? The decimal will be 1.6, right? So now press enter and we're going to check right, whether this is correct. Yay, answer is correct. 